This is my cola. Asamene gonge jetia. This is my cola. Asamene gonge only satiric you love. The plaintiff is suing the defendant for deceit, breach of trust, fraud, and malicious intent. She avers that the defendant said he would help publish a story to clear the company's bad name and took 800 Ghana CDs. The plaintiff is therefore seeking a refund of the initial 800 Ghana CDs and money damages to the tune of 80,000 Ghana CDs. The court is in session. Oh, guys. It's not it. Sit. Okay. So what do you have for me? Oh, God. Good day, Your Honor. It's a pleasure to see you again. As you already know, my name is I know your Anne. name, please. Okay. So, Your Honor, over the weekend, I went to church, and then I spoke to my pastor about the things you told me, and then he told me that there is a spirit of anger that follows me, and I should look out for the spirit of anger, and when it strikes, I should not react. So, Your Honor, I'm on the lookout, and I promise to comport myself. Your Honor, today we bring before you a case of false representation, a case of fraud, theft, daylight robbery, Your Honor. If a man can't can a can of cans, he should not pretend to can a can of cans. Do you even understand what you're saying? Exactly, Your Honor. I would not say it if I didn't. Now, do you understand what I am saying? Can you carry on? My client here, this lovely, beautiful lady, say hello to the judge. Hi. Hello, hello, hi. She came to me and she was very, very disturbed, Your Honor. She said to me, there was this journalist that came to her and said he would write a story for her. There was something that happened sometime back in her company. And she needed, she needed some favor with the public. She needed to put out the truth. She needed to put out what actually happened so that she, she would not lose her customers. And this man came to her office and said, you know what, my lady, I would publish the story for you. So from her heart, she was excited. And then she gave him eight horror Ghana cities. You know how much eight horror Ghana cities is? Odd hit Miriam. She waited and waited and there was no story. Week after week, day after day, she would buy the dailies. And he would not publish it. And so she said to him, young man, if you do not publish this thing for me next week, I am going to come back for my money. And he said, oh, you're... Oh, my lady, I'm sorry, but you, you will have it published next week and then don't have a problem with that and you will publish it. Your Honor, we have evidence of that conversation. We do. We sure do. So, Your Honor, we want to sue that man for Dikit, breach of trust, fraud, malicious intent, as well as money damages to the tune of 80,000 Ghana CDs, including the eight Ghana Ghana CDs, as well as the cost of all the newspapers that she has bought from that day that he made the promise until today. Your Honor, that was 31 days ago. And so that is two CDs, 50 percent by 31, by five CDs. Now, the five CDs represents transportation to buy these newspapers. Mm -hmm. And so the total amount comes to 387387.5 estimated to what's the estimation 472 ghana cities 50 pesos <laughs> thank you very much that is how much we are asking for for his gross misconduct and lying to our client <sighs> defense your honor there is a saying, um, in fact, this is a very popular saying. It is not one chilling kunu and a kramain and tibida. Your Honor, you come and then you say Latin. No Latin that we've not heard before. Do you know the amount of Latin we've spoken in this court before they came? <laughs> come and you're speaking a lot of Latin like we don't know Latin. Objection, Your Honor, please. He, the last time I was in your court, he did exactly what he's doing no, now. No, no, no. And you you, you said, promised to comport yourself. You I promised am... to uh, maintain your composure even if you were provoked. Your pastor told you to do so. Objection, Your Honor. 
Please, you have broke my view. <laughs> your Honor, last time me and you talked to your office, and you tell me that I make sure that all my colleagues come to the court and do this thing. Comport. Yeah. You told me you're not going to condom anything that <laughs> is not a destiny that you like. Mm -hmm. So I have come to make sure that what you condom, I also go to make sure a condom <laughs> to the destiny. I, I didn't like, say condom. You say, you say condone. I will not condone. And so they should conduct themselves. Oh, I think you say condom. <laughs> so I'm going to condom. Is it what? Condone. Condone. Mm -hmm. Condone that this thing, loose and regulation of court to make sure it become the chamber of court chamber rule. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So so then you speak to her to comport herself. Conduct yourself. I am conducting myself. Let's hear. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor, let me start with this. That's a very popular saying in Spain. Your Honor, it says... Despacito de la Rosa, te amor chicharrito esmeralda Jose Amando en la supadora. Messi, gol, 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 gol. Sí. Thank you. Now, Your Honor. Are you serious? Yes, Your Honor. You give credence to what they are saying. You have seen for your eyes. What's <laughs> it? I had la supadora. Me to I am Messi. And Esmeralda. And go. That's all Spanish. And Agogo. Who? Agogo is a footballer. No, Your Honor. It's all Spanish. Tell me what La Supadora is Spanish. I think I can't. I can't. Um, Clark, do you have a phone with you? Your Honor, what are you trying to do? I'm going to Google and search for the meaning of Your the Honor, Latin. Your Honor, you can have my phone. Your Honor, I never said it was Latin. What is it? Wait. Sit. Sit. What is it? It's Spanish. Good. Spanish. Let's look for it. Okay. I'm sorry, Your Honor. You can Google me. the word La Supadora. Google the word Messi. And so what Google does... Google the word Si. So what does La Supadora mean? Ah, uh, the usurper. That I know. Ha, you're smart. Thank you. So now tell me the meaning of your quote. Your Honor, my quote? Oh, Your Honor, my quote simply means that friends yeah, will see. come and go, but some will also stay. Some will try to usurp, but some will take it away. Thank you. Let's see. Your Honor, La Usupadora is a Mexican romantic drama telenovela produced by Salvador Mejia Alejandro and originally broadcast on Canal de la... What's the meaning? What is the meaning of it? It means it is a TV show. It means nothing. No, it definitely means something. It is a title of a TV show. Is that not enough meaning? No. All right. La it says, Can you give examples of TV shows that have meaning? Okay, it's okay. Let's not argue about that. Okay, fine. I, you, you are right. The chance. You are right. Is, is, you is are right. Ah, then we will give you. this example. Can you tell us, Makura? Sit. Please, sit. I should. Sit. Your no. Honor, ah. to summarize everything, the chance is not a TV show. It's a second chance. <laughs> exactly, Your Honor. And also, we have Oshin, mm -hmm. Isora, mm -hmm. Jenny to the West, mm -hmm. Inspector Bediakon, mm -hmm. by the fireside. Mm -hmm. This and is this is this is your. Comp yeah, we have win. This man that we have win. Yes, we have shown him that we know other things. Right? Yes. <laughs> Thank and Sunset Beach. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No more quotes. Straight to your defense. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Now, Your Honor, the very simple defense we have is, Your Honor, my client here, obviously, as you have, you are aware, is a journalist. Mm -hmm. And um, Your Honor, she went to see this. He went to see this woman concerning um, an issue regarding their her objection. What woman? The Def plaintiff. Yes. Thank she you. has to be point pain to. Our client, he wants to trick the woman's eyes. Your Honor. I, 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 I can't take this anymore. I'm sitting uh, down. Me. I'm sitting Please, down. How many cases have you done in my court? Please. Your I Honor, about five enough. cases. Or five. Six. Seven, seven, Your Honor, seven. Seven cases. Yes, Your Honor. Back. I'll use my oh. life. This ah, seven. Back. Back. Back you. Back you. 
This seven will turn into something. Please, Shortly. Thank please. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thanks. Yeah. I also beg for myself. <laughs> Why? The last time you sentenced me. But you have not gone for the... I'm begging in advance. <laughs> yes. I, maybe if you comport yourself, I could reduce it. I won't talk again. <laughs> Say. Thank you very much, Your Honor. And um, she wanted him to write an article clearing her company of the things that happened. And then he actually promised that... She okay. wanted him. She wanted him. I mean, yes, she wanted him to do that. And then he actually said, okay. What do you have? You have something to say? That. What do you want to say? Make it snappy. He came to see her and he said he would write the paper. So, is, that, is that information accurate? Did you go to her and told her you were going to write the article? Or she wanted you to write an article? Yeah, no, actually, I went to her. And I told her I wanted to help. Good. Yeah. So, then your. That means yes, you, your are, Honor, you, so you are giving me wrong. The, the, no, you are giving not, me the wrong. not necessarily. Not necessarily, mm -hmm. Your Honor. So he Objection said, sustained. So he said Thank he could you, help. Thank you, Your Honor. He said he could help. Okay. So, Your Honor, when he told her that and then he was leaving, this woman gave him 800 cities. Please, um, please have your seat. And then he went and then he wrote the article. But, Your Honor, you know that he is a journalist. You know, in a newsroom. And he has superiors. And this superior is his news editor. And every news or every article they write go through that. Goes through the news editor and he sanctions which stories are published when. According to priority. So your honor, as of now, he's written the, the, the article. But his news editor has not allowed it to, to be published. And he can't do anything about it. And now she's saying that he should, um, she should refund the money that um, he, she gave to him. And that's what we don't understand. Because, Your Honor, he went, he, when he went to her, he never demanded for any money. He never said, please give me money, I would write an article for you. He only decided that, oh, I can help you. It's help. And he never said, okay, um, uh, give me this or that. He was leaving, and she decided out of her own. Nobody forced her. It was not a contract or an agreement. She said, oh, take this, and, uh, uh, take this where, where, whilst you're going. And Your Honor, he took it because mostly sometimes when they go out, they do stories. Some people think, okay, because of uh, the, the things they've gone through, you know, because of their uh, stress and all these things, they just give them something small. They tip them, you know, give them something small to, you know, to, to go. So he thought it was just one of these things. So he took it and he went. And then a, 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 about a month or so, it's a couple of weeks later, now she's, she's bugging him, saying that um, if he doesn't uh, publish the story, uh, he bring him to court, blah, blah, and now they're in court. Okay. So, Your Honor, I believe that my client here is absolutely innocent of this, and he has nothing. He has no control over um, um, what when, gets published. No, when is, uh, the, the article is going to be published. So, Your Honor, basically that is what we are saying. So, Your Honor, let me give you a quote in Russian. It better have a meaning. Right now? Yes. <laughs> no. Then don't give it. Thank you. Your Honor, in the absence of any further matters that he would like to speak to, I would like to say this. Yes. Objection, and I just, Your Honor. Your Honor, what toile pair? Excuse me. Can I have a minute to explain what I just said? I am not. No, no, we know I what you just said. Toile pair, I'm not Exactly, so thank you very much for explaining it for You're me. Like, you see what she's trying to do? What she's am I trying to, to do? It's it, it, it like a French. So excuse like me, excuse me. Like I, I say that uh, look, it, it's all boots, they're so menu. Like you think that it's, it's French. Excuse it's me, Your French. Honor. Your Honor. Oh, God. Your Honor, we want to apologize. Yeah. For the next thing you have seen. Yes. We bring you running to go and rich. Yeah, and it ran twice. Thank you. Your Honor, what this man is do? This man tempts my this thing. My colleague, he, he wants my colleague this thing to come so that you say that, oh, chamber of pot, you are not good. Rise up to your this thing. Do you know this woman? Yes, please. Very good. Your Honor, when the woman gave you the money, when you take the money, what to tell the woman before you go to the woman's office? 
when she came to me, I told I her. I don't tell you when she came to you. I said, when you take the money, what to tell the woman before you go at the woman's office? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what, what did you tell the woman before you left her office? Belegate. Exactly. Your Honor, I told her I will help her publish her name. What are you saying? You what is your he honor? saying? Uh, what kind of uh, journalist is this? Yeah. Well, your Honor, I, I told you his attention. He's saying that he says he would help the woman publish, I mean, um, help <coughs> the woman publish her story. Get her story published. That is what he says. I believe that's what you're saying. Yes, yes Your Honor. Hey. Your Honor, how can somebody say something for somebody to mean that thing that somebody, somebody has said? Somebody has to say. <laughs> no, Your Honor, I have your spoken Honor. to him extensively. Your and but, he, but he, how he come your that. client can't speak for himself? He's ah. a journalist. Your Honor, regardless of a journalist, Your Honor, this is a law court. When somebody is tattering their dad, it means that they are guilty. They are Objection, guilty. Your Honor. He no. almost said, right. of course. All right. Your so, Honor. So, uh, follow up with the questions. Finish this with thing it. This is simple, this thing. This man can't talk. Exactly. For the mindset. Mm -hmm. How this man talk for this woman? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, he's a writer. This mic can't even what you talk in your mind that time you write it. Objection, oh, no. Your Honor. Your Honor, not every writer is an orator. He's I, not an why orator. are you answering he the question? He is a writer. Your Honor, no, this is not relevant. You can you can be a journalist, but you'll be a writer. You, not necessarily an I've, orator. I've always said if you have an objection, you raise it. I raised yeah. an objection, Your Honor. I didn't hear I, did. I said objection, Your Honor. Okay, so now let me um, Thank you. decide on the objection. It's overruled. Thank let you, him your answer Honor. the questions. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor! Chris, this woman, our client, tell us that that time you tell her that you, when you take the money, you say, thank you, madam. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure that I write that something nice this thing so mm -hmm. that all the people know that you, your company, is mm -hmm. a different company. Yes. True or false? False. What you tell her, tell me. I told her I will help publish her name. What? Oh so my God. you have not said a woman when the woman give you the money and you take the money, you are not tell the woman thank you. I said thank you. Ah. <laughs> your Honor, I'm not so getting, your honor, I'm not what, getting what, what, your honor, I saying. say that he said thank you. He said false. Mm -hmm. He tell me he got to help the woman publish what? Any. The woman's name. Publish the woman's name to what? Voter register or <laughs> Date of birth. Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, those were two very different questions. What he said was that uh, my client here said that he was going to make sure that his um, the story was published. As against um, uh, my client saying thank you for, 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 for the envelope or whatever it was given to him. As of the time. Those are two very different things. <laughs> You're right. Your Honor, that's my thing. He has had this thing. Mine. Mm -hmm. All of us, we are three mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> three mind is mm -hmm. better than one mind. Yeah. You smell pepper today. <laughs> you take 800 cities to publish somebody's name in graphic. What? Then how much would you take to publish my name in book of life? <laughs> so, Your Honor, you know, one fine, fine judge once said that, a gift is a gift until there is an expectation of something else in return. I, I know, know who said that. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Intai, who they said that. Judge Louis Lamy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You and can't. Your you, honor, I, I think you are. You can't do this to uh, you know. Um, force my hand. Oh, no, 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 your honor. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but I will, never, I will never on. force you. And you see, we always use the precepts that are set by our fine law, our fine you know, judge, just go to learn and move ahead in life. Okay. What this man have say? show you something. This man tell you that this man is pleasure, so he say anything. Mm -hmm. But when you come to bring your, let's say your client, you teach your client. Exactly. Because I think play. Mm -hmm. You pleb him. Mm -hmm. He has not to pleb him, right? Exactly. So it show you that this man is not a good lawyer. We have pleb mm -hmm. our client. If mm -hmm. you ask me anything, she tell you. Okay, so let's see it. Well, Thank you very much, Your Honor. If I may start with my cross examination, you can sit down. please sit down. Please. Now, thank you very much. I'm sure you already know, we have established the fact that you know him, right? Yes, please. Beautiful. So when um, he came there, what did he necessarily tell you? Your Honor, 
he visited my firm and told me that he will help publish a story to clear my company's name. Mm -hmm. To clear your company's name. What was the issue or the problem with your company? Objection, Your Honor. Your that is Honor. absolutely relevant. irrelevant. Your Honor, it's very, very relevant. Okay. We need to know exactly what was the issue. Why? Because, Your Honor, it is part of it. We know what exactly is being published and why perhaps the editor decided not to, not to publish it. It's, Please, it's tell okay. me. That tell is us. Not it's okay. Tell us. What happened was um, my yes. finance officer was to de uh, deposit some money into the um, company's accounts. But unfortunately, um, he ran away with the money. So the customers were putting pressure on that. Did he demand money from you? No, please. Good. Did he ask you that um, maybe he owed someone, so please give me money to uh, uh, go and pay someone? No, please. Did he ask you that I'm going, I need glory fare? No, please. Did he say, I am hungry, I want food for money? No, please. So when he was leaving, why did you give him money? Objection, Your Honor. Your Honor, please, can they I finish? want food for money. How can somebody want food for money? Can you imagine? I think, I think it is a slip of tongue. Huh? Then he have to hold that tongue. Yes. <laughs> All right. He, this is an assumption. And we can't be uh, basing this, this case on assumption. Why? You could have given him 50 CDs. You could have given him 20 CDs. You could have given him 100 CDs because he didn't ask for anything. Why 800 CDs? I decided to give him that You money. decided to give it to him. You decided. You made up your own mind. Objection, Your Honor, Your Honor. Our clients have said that thing. Why is this man false the mind? Like, he have not said that thing. Your Honor, I'm just trying to buttress the point she's made. I think it's... Don't it's batter it's, anybody. So let's just, let's just make progress, okay? So that's what you did. So why would you then put pressure on him to publish the story or he should return your money? Now, so this case shows that you decided to give him the money himself so he can take the money as a gift and All right, use it so whatever right, thank he likes. Thank so you. your honor, he is not liable thank to you. anything and he doesn't have to return any money. Thank, thank you. you, your honor. Lawyers, counsel, sit down. Um, so, if you knew you didn't have the power to publish the story, how do you go to thank her you. and then promise that you will help publish a story to clear her name. Your Honor, I thought my editor would just finish the article in due time. But um, he, he had a problem, so he's not around. This is what I'm seeing. It's a canker. Yes, Your Honor. It's a cancambuedu. <laughs> As I'm sitting here, or I'm thinking about myself, <laughs> Your Honor, do something for me. You want me to do something for you, and you've started? No, oh, no. It's to draw your attention to me. <laughs> okay, I'll do something for you. Thank you very much. It's a canker that is growing in the country. And some people have made it a business. So they sniff where there are conferences and there are events. And there are issues, and they go and they present themselves as journalists. Even if they are cleaners and at a media firm, they go there and they present themselves as such. Then they make promises they can't keep. Mm -hmm. And they, they know that there is a culture of being sorted out when they do stories. And people are taking advantage of that to make money. And I think that is what you're doing. Because everything you've done and everything you've said in my court proves that you are not a journalist. Thank you, Your Honor. You, you, you are just not a journalist. But you know that journalists go and then they promise and then they get something. So yes, you are capitalizing on that to get money. For that deceit, yes, you will be punished. But again, to you, he didn't ask for money. You gave him that money. So you can't ask for a refund. It was not a payment for anything. It is deemed as a gift. Um, I'm not going to punish you from my court. I'm going to let your firm deal with you. Mm -hmm. This culture must stop. 
if you work as a journalist, uh, uh, sorry. It's okay. Keep that one. Deep breaths, Your Honor. Deep breaths. If you work as a journalist, you have to be paid by your company. Mm -hmm. The banker is supposed to be paid by the company. The hospital, the doctor is supposed to be paid by the company they work with. And the company is supposed to provide transportation for them when they go out to do their stories. That is professionalism. Mm -hmm. But we cannot be taking things that would compromise the quality and the truth we have to uphold. The media is not only supposed to be free, it's also supposed to be good. And the only way we can be good is if we, we are disciplined and we are not compromisable. If there is a word like that. You have no case. Um, you chose to pay him, and so you cannot bring them to court that bring him to court that he's not. He should have found your money. That is useless. And you go back and sit up. And you and your firm. If this is a culture they have built, that all of them, if they don't change and put together a policy, they will receive the wrath of my court. This court is adjourned.